Plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is a common cause of heel pain in adults. It occurs in 10% of running athletes. The plantar fascia is a long, connected tissue that lies directly beneath the skin and on the bottom of the foot. This tissue supports the arch of the foot and is inserted from the heel bone to the heads of the metatarsal bones. The plantar fascia inserts into the medial tuberosity of the calcaneus. Achilles tendon inserts into the posterior aspect of the calcaneus. The plantar fascia is formed by three bands, the medial band, the central band, and the lateral band. Plantar aponeurosis is the central part of the plantar fascia. Foot pain due to the inflammation of the plantar aponeurosis is usually caused by repetitive strain. As a person walks, the plantar fascia ligament stretches when the foot hits the ground. This ligament is a dynamic stabilizer of the arch of the foot. If the plantar fascia ligament is forced to stretch excessively or abnormally, damage to the fascial tissue may occur. Pain symptoms will intensify with prolonged exercise or standing, especially with the first steps. Stretching exercises or walking often help in the relieving of the pain. Treatment of plantar fasciitis. Published data shows 80-90% to 90 resolution of symptoms within 12 months regardless of the treatment. The treatment of plantar fasciitis should include rest or ice, anti-inflammatory medication, shoe inserts, heel cord stretching exercises, or injections. Surgery is done as a last resort after the persistence of symptoms for over 6 months. Surgery can be done open or endoscopic. When the treatment involves an injection, do not inject into the fascia itself. It may cause its rupture. Also, do not inject into the fat pad. It may cause fat pad atrophy. The injection can be performed blind or ultrasound guided. The site is first identified and marked on the medial side of the foot and betadine is used. Avoid injecting through the fat pad at the bottom of the foot to avoid fat atrophy. The needle is inserted into a medial to lateral direction one finger breadth above the sole of the foot in a line that corresponds to the posterior aspect of the tibia. The solution is injected past the midline of the width of the foot. When the injection is done by ultrasound guidance, it can be done on the long or short axis of the fascia. In the long axis technique, the fascia can be injected proximally or distally. In the short axis of the fascia, the injection is done by the medial approach. Inject deep or superficial to the fascia and use needling with platelet injection. All my videos and this video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.